Hello everyone. In this video I want to give you a basic introduction to reading and writing cookies in Flask. So if you're not familiar with cookies, basically what they do is they store key value pairs in your browser. So even if a user leaves your site, when they come back they'll have the, that same key value pair so you can save some information about them in between their sessions on your site. And the two main things that cookies are used for are logins, so or just session tracking. So you log into a site, it sets a cookie, and then if you leave that site and comes back, the site will then read the cookie that it set, and it will know based on like a token in the cookie that you are the same user and that you can continue to be logged in. That's why you don't have to log into a lot of sites over and over again every time you go back to the site. And another use case for cookies are ads. So if you view an ad once, it will set a cookie. And then if you come back and view it again, it sets another cookie. Or you view a certain site on one topic, it sets a cookie. And then you go to other sites, the ads will then read that cookie and they'll know that you've been to that particular site and they'll serve you ads that are similar to whatever topic you're reading on on the other site because they're guessing that if you're interested in that, then you'll be interested in buying something that's similar. So I'm not going to go into any specific examples on what to use the cookies for. I'm only going to show you how to read and set the cookies in Flask. So to start, I'm going to create a file that will be the start of the Flask file. So I'm going to import Flask from Flask import flask and then I'll just do the typical flask stuff here and then I want two routes I'm going to have a git or a set route this will be for setting the cookie and then I'll have a git route for getting the cookie And then if name equals main app.run debug equals true. So let me start the server to make sure everything worked. And I made a mistake. End of line while scanning string literal. I forgot the quote there. So Okay, it's running. And let me see if those routes return anything. Set is blank, which is expected. And so is get. Okay, and you'll see that I have the developer tools open in my browser. I'm going to be looking at what cookies are here. At the moment, I have no cookies because I haven't set a cookie yet. But I'll do that right now. So to set a cookie, the first thing I need to do is import make response so what make response does is it takes whatever you want to display to the user so like HTML and it takes that and it creates a response object out of it so in addition to having the HTML that's going to be sent over to the browser you can also modify other things that are sent to the browser like the headers and in our case the cookies so without that make response then we can only send HTML back by using return, but with the make response, we can return whatever you want. So let me create the response object. So I'll just wrap up text that says setting cookie. And what this does is it's taking this HTML, which is just really simple text. It's making a response object out of it, and with that response object, we can do other things. So I want to set a cookie, so I'll set cookie, and it takes um, key value pairs. It has other arguments as well, but I'm only going to cover the first two, key and value, for this video. So the key I want to be framework, and the value I want to be flask. And then I need to return that response. So all this is doing is 
making that response object and in that response object I'm setting a cookie so if I go to set I get an error I think this is underscore set underscore cookie so let me refresh the page so it says setting cookies so it returns successfully and now we see that my developer tools has changed now it has this cookie framework as the name and the value is flask it has other things but I'm not going to worry about it I mean the domain is obvious it's where the cookie came from so localhost um, what directory or what path the index when does it expire it doesn't have an expiration um, how big it is um, is it secure is it HTTPS only so now we have that cookie so what if we want to read that cookie on another part of our site so I'm going to do some things in this git route so first I need to import the request object so every time a user requests any URL on your site not only do they send like uh, any form data or JSON data depending on what you're doing but it also sends the cookies so every time a page on your site gets requested the browser will automatically send all the cookies related to that site over so the site can then read those cookies so to read the cookie I'll have to use the request so framework is going to be I want this to be the framework that I set up here so I'll say framework is going to be request dot cookie so this is looking in the cookie and if I use git I'm going to get whatever cookie is named with the argument so I'm going to get the framework after I get it I can simply return it so I'll just say the framework is and then I'll add framework delete this Let's see server restart it well so I have that cookie there now I'll go to git and it has no maybe it's cookies I can't remember okay yeah so now that it's reading the cookie it knows what the framework is that I set in the original cookie it's reading this flask value and it's displaying flask so the framework is flask So that's all I want to introduce to you in this video. In a later video, I may cover how to use some of the other properties of cookies, but I think this is enough for you to get started with using cookies if you choose to do so. But know that if you do want to use cookies for the typical case of keeping a user session, there are better ways to handle it. Um, there are, there's a library in Flask that I can't remember the name of at the moment, but I'll include in the description below that you can use to handle sessions so you don't have to write the code yourself. So like I said, I'll probably talk about cookies later. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching.